Jody, and we're down at the Preston Connection, and we are here with Jody, and you're going to tell us a little bit about what's going on. And first of all, welcome to Urban Lifestyle. Oh, thank you so much. Happy to be here. So we are in the beautiful Shelby Park neighborhood, standing on what used to be three years ago, just a dump site full of trash, litter. It wasn't anywhere anybody really wanted to walk or to be. And because of the AARP Community Challenge Grant that we won in 2023, we have been able to fund a sign post here for the community garden, as well as expand a lot of our event space here and just allow the community to come into a space that otherwise they would have avoided. And so, so what has the uh, reception been as it relates to everything that you've done? And, and it looks great. Oh, I appreciate it. So uh, what we've been doing is uh, just trying to get more seniors and family members, uh, people that don't have access to a car, to be able to get to a place where they can not only grow fresh food, but also meet their neighbors and be social. And that's something that this intersection, before we had the grant, uh, we had very unsafe ways to cross the street here and to get access to this space. So because of that grant, we've been able to get a whole new bike lane installed. We've had traffic be able to slow down. And most importantly, we've gotten the Metro Council as well as the State Transportation Cabinet to be able to come to this intersection and look at ways to fund improvements, which has never happened before. And almost around here that we're at this intersection, we're all demolished. So when we have fresh food coming back here, not only does it give you know, nutritional food to all the residents, but people can learn how to do it themselves in their own backyard or even their front yard. And having that fresh food and fresh access to, for seniors and for uh, children is so important for everyone in Louisville. Well, tell me, what's your five-year plan for this area? Well, where do you see yourself? Sure, so my five-year plan, honestly, is to have a connected and protected road so that people that don't have access to a vehicle can still get to work, can still get to a garden, can still get to a grocery store, but most importantly, they can get to it in a fast and efficient way. Preston Highway goes all the way up from Prospect to the edge of Jefferson County in a straight line. Can you imagine if we put a bus stop here? Can you imagine if we put a grocery store or even just a pop-up market here? And if we can do that, then I think that we can copy a lot of these other cities like Indianapolis and Chicago and bring in food and bring in amenities in a very low cost way to a place that otherwise would just be a parking lot. You know, I have to say one thing. You are very excited about this project and I can see why it means so much, not only to you, but to the community. And we've got Scott here from AARP. And Scott, you're going to tell us a little bit about how the partnership came about and why do you think it's so important? Max, what's super exciting about this is the, a the AARP Community Challenge Grant is accepting applications right now through March 6. And it's these kind of projects where we take these local ins inspirational projects and really talk about placemaking and building a better, more walkable, livable community for every person of all ages. And the AARP Community Challenge Grant is a great vehicle for these quick action grants for folks to make an application if you're a local nonprofit, if you're a local government, and you can make a difference for your neighborhood like they're building here and really be a catalyst for change in Louisville and across the country. So right now, Louisville's received about $300,000 in community challenge grants over the last seven years. So we're excited for 2024 community challenge grants. It's an online application process. Jody did it. And he, he's not done yet. And that's what we're trying to inspire and really make happen is local change because who knows the community better and the needs of the community. And that's what's really exciting about this project. You know, that is great information. So, Jody, you're here, as we said, in the Preston Connection. You see yourself going maybe next door over into Smoketown. That's where my wife grew, grew up. So I've got to put on a plug for Smoketown. Absolutely. And, you know, every neighborhood deserves fresh access to food and transportation. And I think that this is such a model because Preston Highway connects so many different neighborhoods. And we deserve to have this model copied in almost every neighborhood in the city. Well, you know, thank you both for spending some time with us. Congratulations. As we know, AARP is always doing great things out in the community. We'll take a quick break and back with more right after this. I'm going to work on developing a green thumb because I can't grow. I can't grow anything. We'll be right back.